set up here in Windsor. Gonna wash this house today. Gonna pull my hoses out and get them all set up. All right, I got all my hoses pulled. Got my reels locked. I got them going around the house, all the way around to this back corner. So when I come around this way, wash the front side first, finish on that garage, and roll up right here. This spot right here is looking real good. It's gonna turn out nice, a couple minutes. We gotta hit that peak up there. Then some of these lower gutters here. Everything's reacting good though. Always keep the windows wet. You can let it sit on the house, but not the windows. Keep the windows wet with water until your final rinse is done. This is looking good over here. That's turning. That's already gone. I hadn't even rinsed yet. Every time you do a job, you should find one little thing to do for a bonus for your client. Helps you stand out against the competition. So what I'm doing is these tanks, I already soft washed them, I'm rinsing them now. I'm doing these tanks, and I'm gonna pop that siding back in for them. It was like that when I got here, so. Little things, man. I recommend it. You can see this here. It's old vinyl. It's pretty oxidized. So what I like to do is I do like to wet this before I clean this. Just to cool it down. Make it not uh, so harsh when I put the soap on there. So I generally don't pre-rinse siding. I'm not going to pre-rinse this. But for something that's that bad, I will pre-rinse it. Guys, if you ever see something like this, all that is is the weep holes in the siding. So you'd have a clean house after you washed it. But the water that gets behind the siding a little bit will drip, will drip through those weep holes. Each piece of siding has it. So all you got to do is when you're done doing your walk around, when you're done washing and you're doing your walk around, just keep your pressure washer on and just hit it quick. It goes right away. third up here, knock it right down, look at that, it's gonna look great. You always want to pre-rinse these doors, these aluminum garage doors, and you never really want to scrub them, anything like that. Never let them dry because they tend to oxidize really bad. We're almost done here. I'm gonna make a video showing you guys how I get rid of all this right here. This is all frass and spider webs. As Joe Deary would say, frass. So what I do to get rid of the spider poop and the spider webs, I just spray the house mix on it. So one point or a one percent to a one point five percent sodium hypochlorite water mix. Let it sit for a while. Rinse it. Apply it again, rinse it again. Sometimes the spots, you'll have to come back and give those a little bit of encouraging. You might have to uh, brush it with a soft brush. Like these, these hard spots here. Sometimes you gotta brush those off, but the rest of it will wash right off. See, wherever you have lights, there's always a bunch of spiders. Look at that. They're everywhere. They like the lights at night time. All right, so I've had this sitting here for about two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it and see what we got. I'm gonna hit the garage, I'm gonna hit the garage doors first because they freak me out. Just at least keep them wet and dilute the stuff down that I put on there. That one looks great. This one might need some scrubbing, light scrubbing. Nonetheless, it's better than it was. Now let's see how this stuff rinses out. It's been sitting on there for about two minutes. You see this stuff is coming right off, look at that. Spider webs are really hard to get off of a house if you're not using a good soap.
So all the spider webs came right off. The spots you see is the hard press that I was telling you about. They get up here and it's flashing, make that look real nice. Splash off of the house. So, this up here, we're gonna do all that. looks a million times better, but we're not done with it. Hang on. I'm going to put some more soap on it, see what happens. So it's looking better. You see there's a couple spots here still. That stains from the spider poops. What I'll do is I'll use my soft brush, a little more soap, and see what that does, man. All right, check it out. This isn't doing a whole heck of a lot more. But we'll let it sit a little longer again. All right, I'm gonna use two hands to turn this off. All right, I'm wrapping up here. I'm rinsing off the driveway, getting all my soap off it so it don't dry white. Had a lot of runoff on this driveway. I'm about to go get the lady. We're gonna walk around, see if we spot anything that needs to be touched up, see if we can make sure she's happy. And then I'm on to the next one. All right, wrapping up my hoses. All right with the customer, she was happy. Now we're going to the next job. Here on the tall side, I didn't get much video today because I had to delete some videos off my phone to get some storage, but we're here on the tall side. Pretty clean, but had a bunch of lichen on that windowsill there. I had to get off of the brush. It's looking real good. Everything's turned out real good here today. Customer's real happy. She actually got me another referral for somebody down the road. So I'm gonna go do a quote after I leave here in about 30 minutes. Keep it coming, man. Front side, we're gonna rinse our metals and our windows. We're gonna be done here in no time. Alright. This side has a lot of bugs on it. We'll get it all taken care of here real quick. Start to thunder, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Get out of here. Get under here and get that socket real good. Try not to hit that electrical wire sticking out there. Oh yeah. Nothing like butter. Cliff, the peak flamingo would say. Oh. 
And all this really good. Get the rinsing. Start off at the windows, just like everything else, windows in the metals. Make sure they stay wet. It's coming out perfect. Exactly. Alright, just finished this house. Looks brand new. Got the lid, the got the rig locked and loaded. I'm gonna go hit the road for about 20 minutes. Then I got another quote to do. See, that is why you do your walk arounds, your 360s when you're done. I'll fasten that up in a minute. This one too. All right, well that was a hell of a day. Did two medium sized houses today, small size actually. Um, I'm about done with this 2.4 gallon per minute pressure washer. I've had it for four years. It's done me a lot of work. Uh, the rinsing is slow. Um, you know, I've made a lot of money with it but it's time to upgrade. My rinsing is holding me back big time. I should be doing three big houses a day, but I'm doing two small ones and it takes forever. So we're gonna look into that and then I'm gonna also be looking for downstream injection. So that's gonna be my new process moving forward, except for roofs and concrete, etc. Up here doing some gutters with the gutter tool. I am pushing all this down to the downspout over there. I'm gonna set my ladder on that downspout. Pull this out by hand. That way I don't have to try to set a ladder down there. This tool is very handy. There's a lot of caterpillar poop in these. I found like old dead caterpillars too. go to the other side all right so we're over here on this side now this is really hard to do with one hand I should have brought my GoPro could have put it on my head let you guys get it I'm gonna finish this up and then do the front side gutters and do the house wash all right so just finished the gutters all the way around took two hours Oh, all right, now time to wash. Let's see what we can do. All right, so there's a trick shot. I had to get up there on that peak from the ladder. I gotta hit that other side from the front and then uh, hit all that. It turned out good though. So we've done that, that, this whole side, hit the back side. I'm gonna hit that other peak from the front. The gutters were done. They're pretty hard to get. But we got it done. When I get a house like this, I like to rinse everything underneath the deck. Get on the deck, rinse the deck, wash the upper house. That way when something runs down through the deck or down here, we're not streaking the house or that, spotting that. So we'll do top to bottom, come under here, do the bottom, and then move on. 
All right, we just finished up here. Look how clean that is. Oh yeah, you can see where I stopped right there. Look at that bad guy. Jeez. That was like that before. I took a before picture to make sure they knew it wasn't me. All right, now we're gonna go down underneath this deck and rinse off that table down there. Here's why I need a five and a half or an eight gallon a minute pressure washer. I had to stand on this ladder at the very top right there just to hit that white peak up there. And I still could barely get it. It's about a four story peak from down here. I'm only able to shoot two and a half, maybe three with this. But I could not hit that very easily. I had to stand, literally have my foot right there. My right one anyways. But yeah, rinse in here slowly because I can't reach far. I'll down with this right side. And then it's easy sailing after this. Front side is just two stories. So here's my solution to hit the four story peak up there. I got my adjustable Werner ladder. Put it on a rock. I'm on a hill and it's pitched away. But I got up to the very top, had my, my feet right there. Put my knees on that one. And I got up there and hit it. See, that's as far as I could hit with this. I'm hitting about a whole story short. So I had to get all the way up there. And I got it done. So on the left side here now, this door is heavily oxidized, so when we do this part, we're gonna be sure we rinse the door and the shutters as we're doing the house wash. So they can't pin that on us. Yeah, the shutters and the doors are, it's an aluminum door, heavily oxidized. So I'm gonna go ahead and pre-rinse all the glass and the oxidized areas. Let them cool down and give a little protective barrier there. Always wanna watch out for those oxidized areas, man. That one's so oxidized, it's almost green. All right, I'll get back with you in a second. All right, I forgot to get a walk around video, but there's the house, just finished it. We're headed out, that turned out to be a uh, six hour day for me this for this 2.4 gallon a minute pressure washer is really holding me back i had to do all kinds of stuff on my ladder to hit peaks and everything i'm just so sick of that thing i'm gonna have to upgrade sooner than later and uh turn these six hour days into three hour days i mean two hours of that was spent on the gutters but still that's crazy but we got to Nice paycheck today. Customer is happy. I'm ready to get out of here. I didn't even eat lunch today. So I got to get going. Y'all stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.